What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Video Proc Converter YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be showing you a tutorial how to compress a video file down to a smaller file size without really any noticeable video quality loss. This is going to be really simple and easy to do. And first, of course, you are going to have to download the Video Proc Converter software. The link will be in the description below for that. And if you do have any questions, be sure to put them in the comment section. If you want to help support the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. With all that out of the way, let's get into today's tutorial. So now let's get into showing you exactly how to compress those video files. We're going to do it on a number of files here so you can see the difference in quality and also the difference in file size. As I say, you can pretty much do it without noticing any change in quality. It's really easy and simple to do. So once you've downloaded Video Proc Converter, you're going to want to go into the video tab just here. Now you're going to come across this screen. It's going to be pretty basic. You're going to go down to the bottom here and keep on MP4H264. It's really simple because that's what video we're going to want to go into. And then if you have some videos, I have three videos here. So I've got three videos and we're going to drag all three of them in. So these are all 4K videos and I'll go through now. The top video is a 49.8 megabytes. The second video is 47.8 megabytes and the third 39.4. So what we're gonna do is actually click on one of them. So we're gonna start with the top. We're gonna to click on the codec option. And here you can see that the estimated file size already, if we convert it to 1080p at high quality, is gonna drop it down to around 17 megabytes, which is under half. You know, we've knocked off more than 50% there. Real easy and simple to do. You can literally fine tune this however you like. So you can pick what resolution you want. Do you want it 1440? Do you want it 2K? Do you want it 1080? Do you want it 720? You know, whatever you want is going to knock off the file size. So we're going to keep this now go down to a 1080. We're going to keep the video codec at H264. Frame rate, we're going to keep it the same, although you can edit this. So if you want to have a, I don't know, if you've got it at 60, you want it at 30, you can do that as well. You can also calculate the bit rate yourself. So you can do manual bit rate if you want to go into that. For me, I personally leave it on auto calculate. And then aspect ratio, if you want to change it, you want it to make it like a TikTok video or something like that, you could change the aspect. But for us, we're just going to keep the original here, which is 16.9. Um, and then, of course, you can do the same options with the audio. All you're going to want to do is simply, you can have it on high quality or default. It's up to you. For me, for this video, let's go to high because it's not going to make that much of a difference. Click done. So that's going to change it just for this video here. So when we export this video, it's going to drop that file size down. So we're going to show you now. We're going to use high quality engine and we're going to uncheck auto copy. We don't need auto copy on this. And then what you're going to do is click run. It's going to take literally a couple of seconds. It's a short clip. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Even for longer clips, it's actually really fast at doing this. So let's look at 4K video. So it's this one here, the one in the middle. So before we said the 4K video was 49.8 megabytes. And I'm going to play this video for you now so you can see it on the screen. And then if you look now in the uh, video proc converter file, which we've just converted, we're going to have a look and see now it is 4.39 megabytes. Now we're going to play this video for you now as well. So you can see the difference in quality. And I might even put them side by side on the screen so you guys can see. So that was one of the ways to do it. Now on the second video here, we're going to go video one. So video one was, let's have a look. I think it was 47.8 megabytes. We're going to go to again, codec. We're going to leave this one just at default. Um, we're going to go for, I don't know. Yeah, let's leave it on 1080. Let's leave it on the 1080 for here. Keep original and keep everything else the same. And this should drop it right down really, really low. So we're going to click run again on this one. As you can see, it's so instant. It really does. This is doing all three every time, but it's literally so instant. So we're going to do video one. As we say, it was 48 or 47.8. It is now 5.02. It's crazy. 
It's dropped down so much. And again, we're going to play the original video for you now. And now you can see we're going to play the actual uh, compressed video as well to see if you can see any difference. So for the last one here, 4K video one. So this one was a uh, 39.4 megabytes. We're actually going to go and change a different sort of target format for this. So we're going to click video at the bottom here. And we're going to go for MP4 HEVC. So we're going to go for this one this time. We're going to click codec on that video. You see it's already dropping down. We're going to go high quality on it because we want good quality on here. It's HEVC for the codec. 30 frames per second, or we're just going to keep the original. And then we're going to put this one at like 2K, right? We're going to put it at 2K and just see what happens. 2K is not that far off, really, 4K to the, to the visual eye, in my personal opinion. So we're going to leave the uh, bitrate at auto calculate as well, keep the original aspect ratio, and we're not going to change any of the audio here. So when we click done, we're going to run this one. Now this one is going to run it at HEVC on the codec, so it should be really good quality still. We should get that real crisp picture, and you shouldn't really be able to tell that much of a difference when it comes to um, visually looking at these videos. Now as you can see, they're super fast. They, they are really, really quick, as I keep saying, and it's simple to use. So we're going to go 4K video 1. So it's going to be this one here. And that is now 13.3 megabytes compared to 39.4. So that's pretty much, I think we're near enough on like 90%. Anywhere from 50% all the way to 90%, you can knock off the file size with this. It is absolutely incredible. We're going to play those two videos for you now. So this is the original. And then this is the one that we've just done in HEVC. Now with the full software, you can actually do this as many times as you like, and it will help you out sending videos via email or via um, PowerPoint presentations or however you want to do it. It will just really save that space on your hard drive, on your uh, SSD, your NVMEs, or even just on your mobile devices if you want to download videos from your computer onto your mobiles. If this video has been helpful for you, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. There'll be plenty more tutorials coming on the Video Proc Converter YouTube channel. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.